thank you so much for uh, coming to uh, the gifts that keep on gifting, gifting. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I love the title. Um, so yeah, hi. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out, uh, especially since we were kind of up against uh, a guy who founded some small website where you can find any number of gifts. So thank you for patronizing us, and uh, um, also some decidedly non-interlaced video artists. So uh, thank you for making the trek to 54. Um, I will get to this in a little bit. Uh, I personally am a little bit nervous sitting up next to this illustrious panel, um, and I'll talk about my terror in a second, and I'd like to kind of just try to avoid this sort of situation happening. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, get to, uh, let's get to the heart of it. These are the fantastic people that I'm sitting next to. Um, and basically I'd like to let them introduce themselves a little bit, starting down at the end with, uh, with Aaron. Just name, yeah. Just name. Just name, yeah. Hi, I'm Aaron Myers. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Mingiano. I'm Alana Post. And I'm Olia Lialina. Nice. Um, yeah, thanks guys for being here. Um, as you're going to see very shortly, these guys are stupidly talented in their respective GIF art media, and um, I can't wait to sort of hear a little bit more about what they've been working on. Um, but before that, um, just to kind of get the quick disclaimer out of the way, um, I'm slightly outside my comfort zone right now. Um, my name is Ethan Marcott. I'm a uh, professional web designer and uh, don't really apply my trade in anything GIF 89A related, unlike some of the folks that are sitting up next to me. So I've never really spoken about GIFs before. I use them on a daily basis um, and uh, have basically spent most of the last week kind of oscillating between two different emotional poles, kind of anxious excitement, couldn't wait to actually do this damn thing, <laughs> and then abject sheer terror. So um, if I run out of the building in 20 minutes or so, um, it's on me, it's not on these guys. Um, because I really don't know what to say about GIFs, um, because, I mean, they've been with me throughout my career, I mean, ever since I first encountered the web. Um, in fact, my, my first encounter with GIFs looked a little bit like this. Uh, right? Is this the first time for anybody seeing this? How did you guys drive here? Uh, no, um, yeah, so it's, uh, the fir I mean, the first GIF that I saw looked something like this, right? It was, uh, it was an ornament around some content. The, the actual stuff on the page that I wanted to see, there was this thing sort of floating in the middle of it. And, you know, sort of from the first day, I just sort of was immediately saddled with this connotation that gifts kind of meant, you know, something unfinished, something kind of imperfect, you know, this, this thing in progress. Um, but like I said, I mean, you know, I, I love them dearly. I may not have, like, respected them quite as much from the outset, but, you know, um, eventually I created this site, if you can call it that, called Bucket. Um, which I started back before Twitter actually started shorting URLs for you, and I uh, basically wanted some way to thread bomb my friends on social media. And, you know, it actually started because um, I have a really crappy memory, and I uh, remember this one image. <laughs> and I thought that the, the walrus had actually misspelled Bucket, but uh, in fact, no, his spelling was better than mine, so when I registered the domain name, I just looked stupid. But it's basically a big FTP directory that I just fill with the images that I use on a daily basis. <laughs> As like, uh, they're like emotional shorthand, right? Uh, I, I would like to point out that this is possibly the finest image ever created. I mean, there's so much happening at any one point. The favorite part is probably the woman sitting directly behind the bear. That, uh, and I did see that for maybe the first like 50 or so times. It just it keeps giving back to me. But. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, just to sort of describe my day in less than detailed terms, I mean, I'll just like throw one of these up either in campfire with colleagues and coworkers or on Twitter with my friends and, you know, just kind of really anywhere that I'm at, I've got a gift handy to sort of describe that point in my day. Um, you know, no matter how uh, stupid I might be feeling at any one time. But, um... <laughs> I mean, the thing for me was, is like, I, I use these things on a daily basis, right? But, you know, I never really respected them. I mean, they, they're just like the way that I talk online. Um, but something changed for me about, uh, well, probably a year and a half ago when I found this site. Uh, if, if we don't remember me. Has anyone seen this before? All right, awesome. Yeah, a healthy number of hands. Um, if you haven't, it's, uh, it's fantastic. It was started back in October of 2010 by uh, Gustav Mantel. And, it's basically full of these really beautiful visual loops that have been pulled out of context from movies. Um, and they're just incredible. Um, just really arresting, all maybe a couple seconds long, repeating infinitely. And, um, you know, communicating everything from levity to um, suspense to complete terror. 
I mean, I, I, I spend hours a week on this site, and um, it's, it's probably one of my faces, favorite places on the web. So, you know, I, I just had these, you know, this is the first time that I really encountered GIFs as like anything remotely serious, right? Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, that they could be this really beautiful, expressive art form themselves. Um, here's um, Kevin Weir's site, Flux Machine, which is fantastic. Um, taking these old Library of Congress photos and just enhancing them using GIFs. Um, turning them into something that's really just um, something else, something kind of disturbing, something otherworldly, and flat out dramatic. Um, this is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> you know, but, I, and this has started peeking into pretty much every sort of like corner of my reading habits online. I read a lot of web comics and I play entirely too many video games, but you know, you can take something as simple as just a little bit of motion brought in around the edges to kind of add a little bit of depth to an already poignant scene. I mean, even something as simple as dust motes around a picture frame, you know, just that, that emotional weight wouldn't be there if it wasn't for those little accents that the GIF brought to the, brought to the game. So, so that's kind of the balancing act that I have right now, right? Because I've got, I've got this baggage of GIFs as this sort of one thing, but now, you know, they're, they're two, right? I mean, sort of straddling lines between the profound and the flat out profane. So, uh, so it's the question that I guess we're, we, we've been asked to sort of try to answer today is like, why the fuck do we care about these things? Um, and so I don't really have a great answer for that, and that's why I'm fortunate enough to sit around with these guys. And uh, I would just like to actually pose a question to them, which is, you know, why gifts? Um, and Aaron, if you're willing to start off, um, just what do you think about gifts? Okay. <laughs> That's a pretty open-ended one. Um, well, I think one thing that I find sort of attractive and a distinctive feature of GIFs, well, I guess, oh, we're looking at my website. Um, I guess I kind of came towards GIFs because I was just, in a broader sense, I'm interested in repetition and uh, that, like, uh, that could be like audio. I listen to a lot of electronic music and ambient droning kind of stuff and um, <clears throat> visual repetition like patterns. And so GIFs are kind of an extension of that kind of repeating motion. I think most of the GIFs you see online repeat endlessly. Um, so that was kind of a, a, a point of interest that kind of brought me towards them. This is, uh, and should I talk about this website? If you'd like to, yeah. yeah. I just brought it up. This is Aaron's website, it's fantastic. Uh, three frames. Oh yeah, so this is a website. Um, I made a, like a year and a half ago or something. And it started out as just sort of a website where uh, you can use your webcam on your computer to make a GIF really quickly and easily. I don't know if you want to click the webcam thing and make one of yourself while we're talking here. Yeah. So Ethan's going to make a really cool GIF right now. <laughs> I've got a face for gifts. <laughs> so now, yeah, so now that's on the internet. Um. <laughs> so this became as, this, this sort of began as a really simple experiment. Um, and I just kept on tacking other little things onto it. And it later became an iPhone app. Which I've got a re I've got a really uh, subtle advertisement for it on the front page there, <laughs> um, and later became an installation. This was all sort of uh, created while I was a fellow at IBEAM, which is a nonprofit uh, art and technology center in New York, which is really great, and everyone should check it out. But um, I'll look at that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so this has sort of been a platform for me to just sort of experiment with and take sort of this starting point of these like looping images of people and things that they take pictures of and just mess around with. Um, I guess we could take a quick look at the, do we have time to like look at the video for the installation version of it? Yeah. Let's look at that. It's a cool video. No, not that. No. <laughs> Can you search? It's called 360 frames times infinity. We, at, at IBM, there's these, uh, these parties that they throw quarterly. And... No. No? Just that, that video, yeah. 
Perfect. Sweet. Um, so they throw these quarterly parties and they have bands and they have the artists doing these installations and stuff and is there any audio? Yeah. Um, and so I knew I wanted to do some kind of like installation version of the website, sort of like a photo booth thing, but I wanted to do something a little bit more interesting than just like a booth where you make some gifts. So I made a booth with like eight webcams in 360 degrees surrounding you to make these sort of bullet time animated GIFs, which you'll see in a second. Yes. So, um, so you go in there and this computer voice like walks you through the steps of capturing these 360 degree uh, bullet time GIFs. So that was sort of, so three frames has sort of been a, a platform where I like kind of started as a website, became an iPhone app, and then installation, and I don't know, I continue to sort of mess around with it, but uh, it's sort of like my experimental test bed for all GIF sort of things. That's awesome. Johnny, what about you? All right, uh, um, so my name's Jonathan. I uh, run a blog called The Meme that has been happening since uh, 2008. I also am a computer programmer and I run a company called OK Focus. Um, a lot of kind of first work, actually the first project OK Focus did was with Aaron um, and it was a GIF related project. So um, I don't know if the purists are gonna hate me for doing a kind of commercial based GIF thing, but uh, Oh, is this Lameem? Okay, yeah, so Lameem is something I started when I was at Emerson College, uh, which is right across the river. Um, it was started just as kind of a blog of friends, and it was kind of just us sharing stuff with each other. And then over the last couple years, it has gotten more and more popular. What is that? I can't, like, I'm just so, I need to look at it, I can't. And so it really came from just, like, the love of people posting stuff. I don't even know what we're looking at over here. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, so it's, like, found popularity in a very different kind of piece of the internet than Tumblr, necessarily. It's like, this is not a Tumblr that people think it is. Um, and so the audience that it's found is... Um, maybe a little bit different, um, just based on the way people are consuming it. Like, <laughs> it's a destination. Oh, the one down there is good, where it's the protesters holding donuts for the cops. <laughs> um, so that is, um, that is what the meme is. And then, OK Focus, um, you know, we do a lot of, uh, we do kind of forward, forward web work, you like to think, that uses a lot of GIFs, um, uses kind of, yeah, I mean, it's not a gift, but some of them have gifts in them. Uh, so we, <laughs> we uh, use gifts very heavily in our work. Yeah, it's me and gifts. Hey, I'm Alana Post, and I'm coming at this from a wildly different angle than these guys who are all very well established artists in their own right, and I'm just like the idiot that collects things. So that's my role. I have a website called Each Day is a GIF. And uh, it's kind of, I don't know, we started very broadly uh, with this one thing we were going to try to do, which was to post a, a GIF or GIF every day. And uh, haven't even really been doing that. So it's kind of uh, like the poor man's GIF dump. Um, I think that what brought me to uh, GIFs in the first place was as a child, um, I was one of those kids who couldn't tell a joke without laughing so hard that it, nobody could understand what I was even saying. So the shorter and shorter forms that comedy could take were really attractive to me. So I think that uh, these little files, or sometimes monstrously large files, I guess, um, are really cool and that they, they capture those moments. Um, it's kind of a, an evolution of photography in that instead of capturing a, an occasion, you're capturing an action. So I think I'm kind of interested in the capability for these files to um, just get the essence of something and just drill down to that. And failing that, um, to simply provide like a, a emotion, like Ethan was talking about, like a moment of disgust or uh, confusion even.
even, and uh, the ability for them to disrupt threads, conversations, and sort of be this uh, almost a distraction in an otherwise pretty structured mm. conversation. So that's uh, my role is mostly as like a collector, an aficionado, um, and not so so much as someone who's explored the artistic aspect of it, but simply the aspect of it that makes my friends laugh and that um, makes the internet a weirder place. <laughs> so that's, that's awesome.